In the last video created this state, the actions and the reducers for the state management of our register page using the Ionic framework. In this video, we will continue developing the register page by creating the register service and the NGRX effects we need. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel to follow this development. So let's start by building the service that will be responsible for doing the registration of a new user in our app. Actually, we already created the auth service. So as the registration belongs to the auth part of our app, I'm just going to add to the auth service a new function called register. This function will receive as parameter a user register of the type user register that we created in the last video. The user register class contains all the information available in the register page. This function will return an observable void as I'm not interested in the register API's response. Different from the login, which is calling directly the Firebase auth tool, this registration process I'll manage on the back end that I'm going to create in the near future using Nest.js, which is a framework made for Node.js. As I don't have that API created yet, what I'm going to do is to return a fake response. So I'll return a new observable of the type void. I'll set here a timeout, which will respond after three seconds. And inside of this timeout, I'll check if the user register email is equal to the error email. In case it is, I'll tell this observer that this is an error and I'll put inside of it some error message saying that the email is already registered. If not, then I'll tell the observer to respond and then I'll tell the observer to complete its job. Alright, so that's the service we are going to use for now for our registration. In the future, when we create the backend with Nest.js, then all I'll need to do is to change this function inside of the auth service to make it call the backend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see that magic happening. Okay, so now we have our service. Let's work on the register effects, which will be responsible for knowing when the register action we created on the last video gets called and then acting upon it by calling the auth services register function we just created. To do this, let's create a new file on the store register called register.effects.ts. To make our life easier, let me copy and paste the code that already exists on the login effects file and paste it here. So now let's change the name of the effect to register effects. Now I'll remove the recover password effect and change the login effects name to register. So here I am creating the effect with the ngrx helper function and this effect is currently observing the login action. I'll change it so it observes the register action. So this effect will execute at any time the register action is called. We are receiving an error here because the payload that's coded is the login payload, but it should be the register payload. So I'll change this payload here to the user register of the type user register. Actually, let me comment this part of the code so we do this change with TDD. I'll remove also this import so we don't have errors here. Now I'll create a new file called register.effects.spec.ts. Let me again go to the login effects test file, copy it and paste it here just to make my life easier again. Well, we all know programming is a lot about copying and pasting also. Now I'll prepare the file to test the register effects. Alright, now change the title of the remaining test to should register return success. The action that we should call here so our effect gets called is the register action. This action needs an user register as parameter, so I'll just instantiate a new user register. Here I'll change recover password to register. Then the register effect is called and I'll expect that the new action on the response should be equal to the register success action. Let me remove the error we have on top of this file, save it and tell npm to run our tests. This test we just created will fail. It fails because our effect is receiving the register action, but it's not returning the register success action. So let's go back to the effect and uncomment that code. Instead of calling the login success action, I'll call the register success action. As it doesn't need any parameter, I'll remove this user response. Now let's fix the error case and call the register fail action. All right, cool. Let's now call the register function instead of the login function and pass to it the payloads user register. 
After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because we are trying to call the register function of the auth service, but our mock of the auth service doesn't have a register function. So I'll add a new function called register that receives the user register as parameter of the type user register. Now I'll simply return an observable, which can be done by returning the auth function of RxJS with some parameter. This instruction here will just return a new observable. After I save this, our test will pass. Now let's test the error case. As it's similar to the success case, I'll copy and paste the previous test here, change its title to should register return error, and then expect that the new action is the register fail action. This action needs an error parameter, which was already created on our test before. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because this is actually triggering the success case as our auth service is always returning success. To make it pass, I'll add an if statement here verifying if the user email is equal to the error email. In case it is, then I'll return a throw error and pass to it the error that already exists in our test. I also need to change my test a bit as I'm sending to the register action a user register with an empty email. I'll create a new constant called user register and instantiate it with a new user register. I'll set the email as the error email and now I'll just send to this action this user register we just created. After I save this, our test will pass. Okay, so now we have the state, the actions, the reducers and the effects for our register page. The only thing that's missing here is to go to the app store module and declare in our effects module that now we also need the feature of the register effects. After I save this, our tests keep passing. In the next video, we are going to implement the actual state management in our register page and plug everything together so we'll actually deal with the registration itself. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow this development and see you in the next video.